I know y'all remember this couple. Philadelphia couple who went viral for showing off storage unit home gets kicked out. We're all just trying to survive. Ain't that the truth, my brother? Oh, God in heaven, bro. Ain't that the truth? But the way you went about it, ah, you know what I mean? I remember if you, if you haven't seen the reaction video or the video I did to this, check them out. Check the channel. Swipe down. It's like sometime uh, this last week. Um, I remember when bro was covering. You know, this is this is if you don't know, this is the this is the guy. This is this is the video. I live in the storage unit because it's cheap in comparison to an apartment. Living here is actually really comfortable. I get a lot of things that I need and want to get done here. I can exercise. I can use the bathroom. I can play music anywhere in the unit. It's climate controlled in here, so it's nice and warm. This unit is 24 hours. I remember once I seen this video, bro. Instantly seen the video, I was like, bro, dumb move. You know what I mean? Just because you expect these fo- the, the the employees, bro, they got social media. Once this thing goes, once it goes viral, they've seen you before. They know you. You know what I'm saying? If they ain't seen you, they didn't know you. They know the. They know what everything looks like. So they seen the setting, the environment. Like that's that's our unit right there. Wait, wait. Is, is this is this nigga talking about? Hold on. Let, hold on. Hold on. Quickly. Hey, yo, Connor. Go check unit two four five 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 five. You know what I'm saying? And kick that man out there, man. Or he got to break up some of that bread he just got from that viral TikTok he just made. Because we know it's t- it was TikTok, right? So he made some good bread from that. If he went viral, he did go viral. As he went viral like that, since it's TikTok, he made some bread. So every disappointment is a blessing. Peep that. Even though I'm looking, we're looking at him like, bro, what the fuck? If he played his cards right, that video that went viral gave him what he was wishing for. Let's keep going. Come here anytime I want to stay here as long as I need to. We can take naps if we need to and go to sleep. Wow. The unit. Sandwiches. A lot of times we make salad. If we want to get power, we use our power bank. They also have power here so we can charge our power bank. Me and my baby will live here as long as we need to until we get the shelter that we want. Because we're living here, now we can save up more money to get what we really want. We're in it for the long haul. Thank you for the support. Thanks for watching. Thank you for the support. Thanks for watching. You in it for the long haul, but they don't kick your ass out. You should have got you a U-Haul, my brother. Golly! But, peep. All jokes aside. <laughs> but peep, though, right? He did this video. You know, whoop, whoop. Make I mean and I understand, you know what I'm saying? And I, I me, I commend the hustle, I commend everything other than the video he made itself. You know, the video is the main problem. Um, but he made that video, as you can see, he says your support means everything. He made that video to get help. You know, he wasn't just trying to go viral. You could understand now, right? He made the video trying to, you know, he's seeking help, right? For a better opportunity. My son needs uh more of my time while he is young so thanks for giving me that opportunity right he goes viral now that money he can use that money i don't know how much tiktok pays i hear it pays a lot you can use that money and get him an apartment get an apartment right he can use that money now and get an apartment So we got kicked out of our storage unit. The higher ups found out about my video. It went so viral. We ended up getting kicked out. Now we're just trying to figure out where to go and what we're going to do with all of our stuff. We're going to have to get a new storage unit. So yeah, we got kicked out. We just Damn. Don't know what. People talking, people talking like, of course he got to be with a white girl. That's no way he was with a black girl. I remember when people were, you know what I'm saying? Reacting to the whole thing. It gotta be it gotta be a white girl. Ain't no black girl gonna deal with you. They're gonna tell you, you better get your life together. You ain't shit. Da, 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 da. It's crazy. Not all, you know what I'm saying? But you, you get what we're talking. We're talking stereotypical wise, right? We're talking just in general, the norm, right? You know what I'm saying? A white girl typically the snow buns be willing to go through 
thick and thin with you. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, when we're talking about the slow, the, the snow buns is not, you know what I'm saying, doing all the, you know what I mean, but you get what I mean. Um, the sisters, the sisters going to be like, bro, I want my thing already made. I need, I need everything. I need you to be a, a millionaire already. Woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? And mind you, we're not knocking it. I mean, it's not all the sisters and we get it. You know, I'm just, I'm just talking, right? I'm just joking, right? But at the same time, you, you understand, right? So, hey, y'all understand why brothers, brothers go, you know what I'm saying? Go, go with, you know what I mean? Whatever they go with. Because, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a lot. It's a lot of uncertainty. We can't live here anymore. And we can't make videos in here anymore. Now all we have is a tent. And it's freezing cold outside. Damn. Just can't live in a storage unit anymore. I figured I was going to get kicked out, but I'm willing to take risks. You know, have a crazy come up, a great come up. You know, it was a risk. I was willing to take it so I can get out of here. Now we got a free hotel. After getting kicked out of the storage unit, now we got a free hotel. This Yo! They got a free hotel. Of course, you went viral. See, this is the blessing I was talking about. Mind you, I have not even seen this video. This is just, this is the this is my initial reaction. I just seen the story and I was like, I'm going to react to it online. Look at that. They got a free hotel cold outside we don't have to stay outside in the cold not only can we get out of the cold for the weekend but we can also use this time to figure out what we're gonna do next where we're gonna put our storage at and who we can call to help us we're also gonna be making a lot of money moves while we're here and making some content for you guys so yeah stay, stay tuned hey man look bro content creation is saving people's lives bro it is saving people's lives. Y'all, y'all that been talking all that wet John about content creation, bro. You cannot argue that this thing is is saving lives, bro. Not everybody, you know what I'm saying, is using it right, but that's just it's a tool. Like everything else. You know what I'm saying? It's a tool. Some people gonna use it right, some people gonna use it wrong. You, you know what I mean? It is what it is. In this situation, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of split in between if he used it right or wrong. It seemed like he used it right to me if he was planning. Well, I don't even know because I mean, I think he used it right because what's look, okay, peep this, peep this, peep this, peep this. Let's, let's get a little bit into this. So let's assume he did not make that video. What would his life be like right now? Right? He'll still be living in that storage unit. Ooh, cool. Now let's assume there's two instances he makes a video. He made the video. It did not go viral. He would still be living in that storage unit. He made the video, it went viral. Doing what it was supposed to do, but it gets kicked out. Right? But then it get a free hotel. And most likely made money from that TikTok. And a lot of subscribers or followers from that TikTok. This popularity right here they have, if they, if they smart, this is where they get a YouTube channel, vlog, daily vlogs, stuff like that, content now. They, they, they're somewhat famous. People going to want to care. Monetize this and make money from it. This is how, like, you just got your answer like that, bro. Like, every disappointment is a blessing, they say. And, you know, I, see, I like what he said right there, man. I like what he said. He was like, I'm taking the risk, bro. It is what it is, right? Because without taking the risk, how you going to win? You know what I'm saying? How you going to win? You know what I mean? So we got kicked out of our storage unit. The higher ups found out about my video and went so viral. We ended up getting kicked out. Now we're just trying to figure out where to go and what we're going to do with all of our stuff. We're going to have to get a new storage unit. So, yeah, we got kicked out. Bro said we're going to have to get a new storage unit. Bro, it went viral. Once you walk in there, people are going to see you and they're like, yep, nope, we're not giving you that, my guy. <laughs> we know who you are, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? We just don't know what to do right now. We're trying to figure it out it's a lot it's a lot of uncertainty you can't live here anymore bro he seems like he he's i'm pretty sure a lot is going on in his mind but he seems well calm and collected the way he you know what i'm saying and it's it, like me when i'm going through stuff mentally i can't shooting content is hard for me i ain't gonna lie you know what i'm saying and and hey fill in the blank you know what i'm saying shooting content is hard for me because i i don't like to fake stuff you know what i'm saying and and it's hard you know what i mean but for him to be able to do this, 
you know what I'm saying? Put his, get, you know, get his mind right. Cause it's a lot going on. Where I'm gonna stay? Da, da, da. I'm, I, I ain't about to entertain these folks just to, you know what I mean? Ooh, but he's doing this thing, and he, he, you know, what I'm saying his, his, it seems like his energy is, is calm. Any videos in here anymore? Now all we have is a tent, and it's freezing cold outside. Man, they gotta go to the tent, player. Just can't live in a storage unit anymore. Figured I was gonna get kicked out, but I'm willing to take risks. You know, have a crazy come up, a great come up. You know, it was a risk. I was willing to take it so I can get out. This right here, he's talking about taking risks, bro. Like everything, everything that we have right now, every great innovation, every innovation, everything that's really outstanding came from risk. Shit, everything comes from risk. Every single thing. You wake up, you walk outside. I don't know if you've seen Final Destination. If you've seen Final Destination, you understand that at any second, even right now as I'm talking, anything could happen to you. Anything. We're not in control like you think you're in control. You really don't have that much control, like physically. You know what I mean? Anything can happen to you. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Life is a risk. So if you have something that you think you want to, you want to, you know what I'm saying? You better, you better go try it out now. That's never, there's never, I can promise you this. There will never be a right time to do anything. There will never be that. When that idea pops in your mind, this is something I realized myself. Once that idea pops in your mind, the raw materials to manifest that reality, that idea is around you. Anytime you have a question you want to ask, well, what do I do about this? How? Why? This? The answers are literally right there in raw form, not in the form that you want it in. Most of the times it's not going to come in the form you want it in. It's going to come in this raw form. You get what I'm saying? Raw. You know, you, you know, you know what raw means as opposed to cooked, right? You know what I'm saying? Raw stuff is not edible. It's not, you know what I mean? But it is what you want. It's just not prepared yet. So that is, that's, that's, how, that's how I feel. And with what, he's, you know, what he went through, every, you know, we seen it even when I initially, I'm like, yo, that's done. Da, 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 da. But then I thought about it. TikTok is bread. The, the, the virality right now leads, opens, you know what I'm saying, his own genre. Opens his own niche. Their niche. Homeless uh, uh, vlogging, live streaming. There you go. You know what I'm saying? YouTube, whatever it is, they monetize on that. Bread. Just like that. But they got kicked out of that spot, though. But you can see that. You see what I mean? Disappointment is a blessing and taking risks and all that. You just got to keep, you got to keep trying, man. You got to keep going forward. Yo, let me know what y'all think about it. You know, his situation touched me so much because it's, it's, it's you know, Hey, it's real. It's real out here. Your boy is struggling too. You know what I'm saying? By the way, subscribe if you ain't subscribed. You know what I'm saying? Help your boy, support your boy. Um, you know, support the stream uh, <laughs> and all that. But yeah, real shit. Real, 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 real talk. Real, real, real talk. Yo, let me know what y'all think though. Um, shout out to bro and blessings on his journey. He and his girl. Um, yeah, man. And they, I think they got a kid too. So blessings on their journey. Although we ain't seen nothing but they kid on her, but whatever. All right.